June was such a good month for favorites and I'm gonna start with my most used palette. This is from the brand Pacifica and it doesn't have the name of the palette on it but I believe this is called the Solar Palette. And I had heard a couple of people talk about it. Terry featured it in one of her Get Ready With Me videos and I thought it seemed really nice and looked beautiful on her but the Pacifica section of my Target is not large and it doesn't carry any of the makeup. So I kind of forgot about it and a couple weeks went by but one day I was browsing Whole Foods and they must have redone the Pacifica display because it was huge really bright and it caught my eye and it was fully stocked and they had this palette and I believe it was around $35 I'll have the exact price listed but I thought it was a good price for the amount of products you get you get six eyeshadows a blush and bronzer and then three cream highlighters and when you open it up to me it just screams summer it's very mermaid um, colors which I think is really pretty my favorites are definitely the blush and bronzer they are beautiful and give so much warmth to the face the bronzer is a nice one to just dust around and you don't have to worry about blending it out taking a lot of time to blend and it's also really hard to overdo it with that bronzer and then the eyeshadows are really pretty today I have a little bit of the shimmery pink on my lid some of the taupe brown in my crease and in my outside corner I'm using the deep plum and they're just beautiful and I've been really loving this palette I also do a look using the light blue on the lid which is pretty I guess my only, the only doubt, maybe two things, is one, when I first got it and opened it up, a couple of the pans fell out. They just weren't glued in very well, so I had to get a hot glue gun, but now everything is good and secure. And the other thing is there is nothing matte about this palette. So if you're not a fan of shimmer, this is probably not the palette for you. For me, I tend to gravitate towards more shimmery shadows in the summer anyway, so that hasn't been an issue. Like today, I'm only using this palette, nothing matte, and I think it works out and blends out nicely. If I wanted to, I would just grab one of my matte palettes and kind of use it as a companion palette with this one. Another eyeshadow favorite that I use by itself and also with that solar palette is the Josie Marin Coconut Watercolor Eyeshadow in the shade Rio de Rose Gold. This is so gorgeous, but I would really only recommend it if you like a very metallic look on your lid because this is bold and very shiny. I think it is just gorgeous for summer, especially if you have a little bit of glow to your skin. And like I said, I did use this by itself and I do think these are easy to work with, but I would recommend working quickly. So apply it to your lid and then immediately go in with your finger or a brush to blend out the edges. And you can use it by itself or I also like to top it off with this peachy shade from the Solar Palette and that was a beautiful combination. Moving into lip products, I have a few different ones to show you, and the first is another Pacifica product, and I bought this the same time I bought that palette. This is their Enlighten Gloss Nourishing Mineral Lip Shine in the shade Nudist. And first of all, the packaging is so pretty, and the color is what I'm wearing right now. It's a very warm nude with some visible gold glitter to it. You can't feel the glitter at all on your lips, and the formula is slightly tacky, but I think that helps the wear time because it wears really nice on my lips. And I wore this a lot because is pretty much what Ever look I created with that solar palette on my eyes and cheeks I felt like this gloss went really nicely recently a cure released a new product called lip lush and they sent me a box with all of the different shades and as I was looking through and swatching them the first one to really call my name was date worthy and this has turned out to be my favorite from the line date worthy is a very deep rose color with just a hint of orange that is very pretty and unlike the Pacifica one this one is not sticky in the slightest it contains argan oil and it feels very light on the lips and you're also getting a little bit of light moisture from that argan oil which is nice and this one smells like fruit and I forgot to mention but the Pacifica one smells like a donut and not just any donut but if you're familiar with shoppers the grocery store when I was little my grandmother would buy us those gigantic shoppers donuts and this smells exactly like that so the Pacifica smells like a donut and the Acure smells like fruit and these were two of my most worn lip products during the month. I have one last lip favorite and this is a lipstick but not just any lipstick. I can't even put into words how much I love it. It is from Bite Beauty and it's in the shade Pepper and a couple people recommended this color to me in the comment section of my lip product addict tag and then I also saw it on Laura Bora and she was wearing it in a favorites video and it looked so beautiful so I went and purchased it for myself and Pepper is a deep rose shade with a lot of brown and it just kind of gently nods its head at that 90s makeup trend and this is so beautiful fully applied on the lips I also like it gently tapped in and then blended in with the finger and this bite lipstick formula is amazing and it's right up there with my favorite 
Too Faced Lip Cremes. I mentioned a couple times that I had a really bad breakout and the product that got me through that time was the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I have it in shade vanilla and this has such amazing coverage without looking cakey and it's just amazing for covering blemishes. And even now that everything's healing, I do have a couple leftover red spots. So I'm still using this concealer and it's looking great. I'm actually getting it down. I've had to start scraping the bottoms a little bit. So I'm either going to repurchase this or I might try, someone mentioned that 100% pure has a supposed dupe to this. So I might try that one and then let you know how comparable I think they are. My next favorite is from Acure, and these are the Moroccan Argan Stem Cell Plus Argan Oil Shampoo and Conditioner. And I've actually gone through another full-size bottle of both of these, and it wasn't until I was done with those bottles that I realized just how much I like this product. So much so that the night I decided to repurchase, the Whole Foods I was at was completely sold out, so I drove all the way from Fairlegs to Reston just to buy these. And the reason I like them so much is that they are very moisturizing, especially on my ends where I need it, but they don't weigh my hair down, so I'm still able to get some volume up at my roots and I have a very sensitive scalp but I don't feel like these you know mess with that at all create any kind of itchiness or product buildup and even though that it says that it's sulfate free on the shampoo I still feel like it can build up to a nice lather so these have replaced the Purology shampoos in my hair care routine. My last favorite is tied with that Pacifica palette as my number one favorite out of the entire month and that is the Chocolate Sun Coco Glow Medium Tanning Cream. And I have mentioned before that I normally cannot be bothered with self tanning. One, I never think it looks natural on me. And two, I just hate the upkeep that goes along with self tanning. But I'm subscribed to Shannon Sullivan and she loves this product. And I never think Shannon looks overdone, like overly tan or patchy or anything like that. So I decided to purchase this for myself and I bought it off the EcoDiva website. And before I placed my order, I asked Garcy who runs EcoDiva a couple questions and she actually recommended that I go with the medium shade, even though there's a shade lighter. And I'm so glad because the color that this turns on me is so natural. I don't think I look orange. I don't think I look overly or unbelievably tan. The color is so pretty. And I think the number one selling point of this product is probably the smell. I know I don't like it and a lot of people don't like the smell of self tanners and this one smells like chocolate. Even though I put this on a few hours ago, as I'm waving my arms around, I can get just the tiniest hint of chocolate scent and it's so pleasant and it's just a beautiful product. I myself like to always apply a self tanner with a mitt and the date that this came in the mail, I ran out to Ulta to buy that Saint Tropez mitt. I've used that in the past before, but they were sold out and the girl recommended that I try this and it's a brand I'd never heard of before. Carora, maybe, maybe that's the name. This was a couple dollars more than the Saint Tropez, but since I was there, I had already driven there, I decided to buy it. And this, the mitt itself is almost, almost feels like velvet or suede. And this used in conjunction with the Chocolate Sun is amazing. It goes on so nicely. I like to use this and go in little circular buffing motions. And I get a really nice even tan with this. I have washed it a few times and it washes up beautifully. I just wash it in the machine and then let it air dry away from direct sunlight. So this was a huge favorite of mine. And I am gonna talk a little bit more. I haven't been brave enough to use this on my face yet, mostly because I did have that major breakout on my chin. So I didn't wanna add anything else into the mix, but I do know that they have one specifically for your face from Chocolate Sun. So I might try that and then talk to you about that in a future video. I was really excited to film this video today because I felt like I had really good luck in the month of June when it came to favorites. And in July, I already have a few videos planned. I'm gonna finally do an updated what's in my bag and I haven't done one of those in years. I'm gonna be sharing my summer beauty essentials as well as my favorite SPF and bronzing products. But that is everything for today. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next week with a new video.